Morning! I'm going to show you how I make my morning coffee. And boy, I've been waiting for this coffee this morning, and I'll explain once it's brewing. What I use now is what's called a French press. So, especially, you know, now that I have time, let me show you what. Okay, so I get coffee beans. I try different ones. This is the one I'm trying now. I like dark coffee. So these are dark coffee beans. Um, I've ground them just a little bit ago so you don't hear the noise. But as you can see, they're pretty roasted dark. So I grind the coffee and so here's my fresh ground coffee. Now I make my coffee with a French press. So with this setup, I need eight cups of this, eight teaspoons. Five, six, seven, eight. So I put eight teaspoons of ground coffee. This is a coarse grind. And then we add the hot water. Fill it to the metal band. All right. I don't have a long stir spoon yet, but I use this end of this plastic handle. And I'll mix that up. Put the press top on, set the timer, usually four minutes. So while the timer's running, I'll explain what I've done already today. I'm back. I had to get comfortable on my stool. So little cheer. Uh, today I had to go to blood work. Uh, see the doctor tomorrow. Do you ever notice when you have morning blood work where you have to do fasting? When you wake up in the morning and you're not supposed to have anything and you want a cup of coffee and at least I do in the worst way. And then you know you end up getting up early too. So you get to punish yourself more by just sitting there thinking, boy, as soon as I get home, I'm going to make me some coffee. So that's what I'm doing. I see there my boo-boo, pulled the blood, and I'm making a great cup of coffee, this French press. It's a slow process, but the coffee's not bitter, and it's really got a nice, bold flavor. Uh, really makes a great cup of coffee. Yeah, a, a lot of prep work. You, know, you grind your beans, you heat the water, you put the coffee in the press, you let it. Um, I forget what the term is, I can't think, but you let it do its thing for four minutes, roast or season or become coffee. I know the word will come to me after I finish this video. So today was blood workup day. Uh, tomorrow, see the results with the doctor, and hopefully, woohoo! Uh, back to work on Monday, at least part time schedule for the first week. And then following back into my normal full-time schedule. 
and they said in Iowa we're gonna now see April weather it's about time because well, you know, we're about done with April, you know, getting down to the last week of April and they said no more snow. There's still snow on the ground. Yeah, it's still 30 out. Uh, but they're saying next week it's going to get up to 70. Hopefully it does. Oops. You know what that sound is? That sound is saying that my coffee is done, ready to be pressed. So I'll show you what I do. So, stop my timer, move the coffee grinder back out of the way. So I'll take the French press, which you can see here, and do what they say. Press this down, slowly, 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 slowly. Pushing all the coffee grounds down to the bottom of the pot with a strainer. And there it is. Now ready to pour. Just like a coffee shop. Just like a coffee shop. See? <laughs> oh yeah, this it's been a long time waiting for this first taste. Oh yeah. Good stuff, people. Good stuff. Bold, but flavorful. It has a body, not the bitter. Ah, uh, it's strong. Who doesn't like strong coffee? Wow. Oh, and you gotta slurp it a little. <clears throat> Good stuff. So looking forward, uh, Getting back to my normal routine, you know, getting up, going to work, coming home, warm weather coming, uh, getting help working on the bus. Uh, my friend Ryan, or I guess he's my friend, he's my son's friend, he's here quite a bit. You know, we kind of adopted him. <laughs> uh, this weekend, He's going to see if he can uh, start uh, undoing things to be able to take the front axle beam down from the bus. Um, need to replace the bushing in the pitman arm, give the bus an overall cleaning. And we'll start posting. Uh, videos on what we're doing. His plans are he's usually here every weekend anyway. You know, spend an hour or two tinkering on the bus. With that, I'm gonna let you go. I'm just a short update video. Uh, been watching everyone else's video. Man Cutworm seems like he's the only one that's really basking in the nice warm weather there in Arkansas, 70 degrees. Of course, our peak, he's kind of making us all feel guilty, you know, down there in Georgia on the lake, you know, him and Honey Baby enjoying the weather, the lake, and that video of them starting their fire and using the hair dryer to get the fire stoking, that just, is, if that's not hilarious, and you could just see them two doing something like that. Well, you just, that's called enjoying life to the max. I mean, I'm really, it's just good to see that and see them there in the nice warm weather, having fun and 
I'm sure he doesn't miss shoveling the snow up there in Maine. Well, I'm going to cut this short. So this is a short update, how I make my coffee with the French press. And I had to wait a while to have this one. Oh yeah, so good. So good. One more. We'll see you all later. And hope to be able to... My plan is to start putting videos up pretty regular. Um, and we'll see if I succeed in that, won't we? We'll talk later. Bye.